So this is a little bit of a ramble video. I don't really do too many ramble videos, but I figure, you know what, I want to put it out there anyway. So I get a text message today from my son. Mom, forgot my uh, English homework on the printer. Can you bring it to my school? I'm like, damn. Ugh. I really don't like going to his high school. And um, and the reason I don't like going is because a lot of times that I've gone there, uh, I would see things that I don't like that I would feel that, that personally are insulting to me. And uh, it's just like I see our younger generation kind of going into a way that I'm just not happy with. Like my older son was also in that same high school. And I want to give you an example. So he was in 11th grade and I was taking him to school because he missed a school bus. So we drive up to the school and I see these four girls are getting out of a car and they had to be. If they were seniors, let's just say late 17, almost 18, right? So they're getting out of the car and they're reaching in the back of the back of the car and they're picking up their books. And then they have on those like little, little jeans that go way down the back and like little short shirts and I show up their figure. And then right in, you know how girls get like right in the crooks of their back, these little tattoos. And I'm saying to myself, oh my God, that must be such a distraction in class. And then I'm thinking like, what parent would let their kid at that age get a tattoo down there? And I was like, sick. Right? The other time I opened up my, it was like I was waiting for him. And um, there were these kids outside smoking cigarettes, lighting up, like, you know, it's just okay. So that bothered me. Then another incident was at one of the last days of school, and there were these kids outside, they were smoking pot reefer. And I'm like, you know, I just, I can't get with that. And like the language that they use, the profanity, it says, you know, I prefer not to go there. I know they're young and they do that kind of stuff, but I just, you know, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it. So anyway, so today I get to the school and I'm not really happy about being there, but you know, I don't want him to like not miss his, to not hand his homework in. So I get there and I'm taking in the scene. There's this teacher and she's standing there complaining to the administration lady at the school that she had just been punched or uppercut in the stomach by another stood by one of the students and I'm saying to myself you know this is what I'm talking about you know what is wrong with our kids you know teachers are like an institution you know you respect them you know you have to respect them because they're there they're doing a job they're teaching you they're giving you a skill you know that kind of thing and I have noticed that through the years that the respect level that teachers get from students went from like here when I was a kid going to school to like down here no other respect. And I hear my kids sometimes talking about teachers. I'm like, no, don't you talk about your teacher like that. You respect that woman because she's there every day doing a job. And she's teaching you something, a skill. And she's giving you some knowledge. Stop it. You know, I, maybe, I, I guess a lot of parents probably do. I don't know. But for a kid to come to school and punch uppercut his teacher in the stomach is ridiculous. And, you know, what's the reason why he did um, they were doing a team building thing in class, so they were kicking around a soccer ball. So when she kicked the soccer ball to him, so instead of it like coming to him lightly, like it rolled up toward his ankle. So he got mad, so he goes to the teacher and just like, bam, gives her an uppercut in the stomach. He's about six foot tall, maybe like about 200 pounds. She's five foot two, maybe like about 140. I mean like, <laughs> I don't know. I was so upset when I heard that. I was like, why, you know, what kind of parents does this monster have that he could just feel he has no emotion that he can just burst out like that and just like punch his teacher. So then, um, you know, I, I felt you know, the, the person behind the desk, you could tell she was like, yeah, yeah, okay. And I'm like, I was so built with, built up with emotion, like for this teacher, you know? Um, and then the other thing, <laughs> I was looking at the teacher herself. Um, I don't know. This may sound crazy to some of you guys, but this teacher, she had her fingernails. Each nail was like so long and hanging down. Like she belonged in the Guinness Book of Records, seriously, for like long nails. And I'm saying to myself, like, that's not even, um, teacher looking. You know what I mean? Like you come to school, you manicure, you, I don't know. This 10 inches nails that were meticulously painted with all these little pattern on them. And I'm saying to myself, you know, 
there's a certain image that you have to portray when you have certain jobs. Like stewardesses, you wouldn't want to see them come in with like flashy colors. They have a certain look. Police officers, you know, they have their stuff buttoned up and they got their pants and hat. You know, if they had baseball cap, you'd be like, whoa, hold on a second. And to me, teachers have a certain image of how they're supposed to look. Like you come to school, um, you know, dressed sort of casual, business casual, that's what's allowed today. But to come to school with 10 inch nails where all the nails are painted a different, not they're painted the same color, but like this bright pattern. It's like you're sending out totally different messages to the kids in the class. You know, like instead of focusing on you and what you have to say, let me focus in on your nails and probably like next week what pattern you're gonna get. And then as a teacher, like how do you write? You know, I, I worked with a woman that one time she had those nails and she literally she would she would have to write like this. I mean it was just such an awkward motion. How does this woman type, for God's sake? You cannot type with that stuff. Like, come on. Yeah, we want our kids to respect us as, as professionals. But I also think we have a job, too, is we have to portray a certain image to make kids say, you know what, she's professional, she's, she's my teacher, she's a, I don't know. <laughs> this is rambling, but it's just... I, I'm just built up with emotion because one, this kid should have not hit his teacher. And number two, every day that teacher comes to school looking like that, it's a mockery. It really is. You know, and I'm sorry to say that. Not that I'm prejudiced against anybody who likes long nails. But, you know, again, like I said, when you are a certain position, there's certain rules and regulations that you have to follow for image as to who you are. And when I saw her standing there, like, I definitely felt sorry for her that this should have never happened. But on the other side, if you have kids in that class that are probably, like, acting up or they, they don't, like, listen to her, I gotta say, it's probably the image that she projects to the kids of how she looks. Because, first of all, I don't know, you just cannot come to school with 10-inch nails with all these flashy patterns, you know? Anyway, what's your feeling about that? Um, if you want, you can leave a comment below. Am I being too harsh? Am I, am I totally in left field? Should I just leave this whole issue alone? I don't know. Anyway, it's a ramble, so I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.